Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a data source connection string in web.config file from Godaddy My Little Admin SQL Server. This is my website hosted on Godaddy. If you see the information in this page, now when I refresh this page, the file exception error. And this runtime error is showing because the data source connection is not available in the web.config file. Now let's go back to my web.config file and we create a data source connection of GoDaddy string. After that, again we will refresh this page. We will check the website is working properly or not. Okay, now I'm in my web.config file. If you notice, there is no connection string here. So add a connection string. Connection string. Add, do a name, add the name property GoDaddy connection string, and second one is the connection string, and third one is the provider name. Provider name is system.data.sql client. You see now the connection string property here, we need to provide the GoDaddy SQL Server connection string. Let's log into my little admin SQL Server and we'll find the connection string. Okay, after logging to my little admin for SQL Server, go to connection info, connection tab. You see the here connection string data source. Copy the whole thing. I'm pasting here the data source connection string. See the connect timeout, encrypt false, and packet size. Just remove these all things. User ID you have to provide your username of my little admin sql server and the password also password is not available and we have copied the string so we need to manually enter the password these two things are very important and rest of the things just keep it as it is don't change any data source IP address. Just for the demo purpose, I'm using the user ID and password dummy ones. When I upload my web.config file on remote server, I will change my user ID and password with, with real credentials. After creating the connection string properly with my real username and password, I uploaded the web.config file on remote server. Now we will check my website is working properly or not. yep it's working perfectly refresh my page this is how we create the data source connection of godaddy my little admin sql connection string in web.config file if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel thank you and catch you on my upcoming videos